So, you want to create a third person camera? Not a problem. Real quick, I just want to say thank you to everyone who keeps showing support and sharing information in the comments. It really helps keep the channel algorithm alive. And when people like Ichigo leave comments that contain more information than my entire video, I mean, it feels like I'm learning more from you guys than you are learning from me. But it's been awesome, and I love reading the comments, so thank you and keep them coming. Anyway, for this tutorial, I won't be typing Delta Time. I'm just going to focus on the new code. So, first create an empty game object to represent the target position and rotation of your camera. I'm gonna give it a red icon and the camera a green icon so it's easier for you to see how they interact. Now create a new C sharp script and drag it directly onto your camera. And at the top of the code make a transform variable for the camera target and make floats to represent the position speed and the rotation speed. And down here in the update type transform.position equals vector3.lerp transform.position cam target.position p lerp and then transform.rotation equals quaternion.lerp transform.rotation cam target dot rotation and R lerp. Okay, so you're basically done. If you save and run the game now, all this code does is tell your camera to always chase the position and rotation values of the target. So if the target moves, the camera will chase it. And if the target rotates, the camera will also try and copy its rotation. And if you want to change how fast it chases position and rotation, you can adjust the lerp values here. Which means from here, all you have to do is parent the camera target to the back of your main character. Then you can just adjust where the camera rests by moving the target position. If you're doing a shooter, usually the camera is offset a little to the side of your character, but if you are doing an adventure game, usually the camera is centered on your character. How rotation is controlled really depends on your movement system. For example, if you're doing a third person shooter, usually the camera only rotates when the player rotates. That is why usually the easiest solution is to parent the cam target to the base of your character. However, in an adventure or an RPG, where the camera direction can be completely separate from the player action, the easiest way I know to replicate this kind of camera is to parent the cam target to a blank object, we'll just name it rotator, and then parent the rotator to the main character. Then you can use the rotation code we learned last tutorial to control the rotation of that object with your mouse. And the result should look something like this. Anyway, hope that helps. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.